All right. Welcome back to the South for Life podcast. It's your girl, Katie here, and I am super excited for today's episode because today's episode is a little different than most of our episodes. So if you haven't listened to last week's episode, which was all about videos and how to style yourself for videos and how to show up and feel amazing in your videos, then go check it out because guess what? I'm filming my very first Actually, it's my second, but no one knows this because it was years ago. My very first YouTube podcast video. I'm super, super excited to be here. So if you're new to the show, welcome. I'm so excited that you're here. And if you're one of my OGs, thank you for being on this journey with me. I can't even begin to tell you how much it means to me. So my intention with this show always is to help you use your style to bust through your limiting beliefs and amplify your business and your brands and make everything fun and easy in your life, in your business, through the way you dress. So today's episode is going to do just that. It's super, super juicy. But before we get there, if you are looking for style support, if you're ready to up level, if you're ready to be seen, if you listened to last week's episode and you're like, oh my God, I want to be on video, but what do I wear? How do I do this? I just created this brand new offer called Amplify. It's an Amplify audit of your closet where we go in. It's super easy. I got a fancy little cheat sheet for you and everything. And we create a digital closet for you. That's magical. And we will pick out all the perfect outfits for you. We will come up with a whole month's worth of outfits. And I will give you the top 10 style solutions to brand boost, to boost your brand and your business. Anyways, all the details are going to be in the show notes. I made you a fun little video of exactly how the digital closet works. Go check it out. There's an application. We can see if it's a good fit. And we'll go from there. I'm super excited about this. This is one of those like fun shower ideas. I don't know about you guys, but all my best ideas come while I'm in the shower. And I was like, oh my God, I know exactly what this offer is. So if you're ready to amplify your business and your brand this fall, go check it out. It's in the show notes. And if you're watching this on the YouTubes, it'll be below. All right, let's talk about how do we manifest with our clothes and how do we amplify our life and our feelings and our moods and our cash flow with our clothes. So I did a digital detox this weekend. And if you don't do them, please do them. Life changing, right? I'm coming off of intense couple of months doing the style story launch, which was amazing, which exceeded my expectations. But I kept that launch energy going for a couple weeks afterwards, intentionally, unintentionally. And, you know, everything starts to happen around you. And I was feel- really feeling the pull and need to go within. So I was like, ooh, I used to do digital detoxes all the time when I first started my business. And when I was in that phase of losing my job and starting my business, there's a gap in there, a couple months where I had no fucking idea what I was going to do, just that I wanted to go after a different path. And it was a lot of meditation. It was a lot of long walks around my neighborhood. And it was a lot of digital detoxing because it's hard when you're paying attention to what everyone else is doing. So I brought that back this weekend and it was amazing. And I was really dialing in. And it was like, you know, when you hear about manifesting, you always hear, you need to feel the feeling now. You need to live the way you want to live now. If you want to be peaceful, if you want to be vital, if you want to be rich, whatever that means for you, you got to feel it now. You can't wait to have the feeling when you get the items, the thing, when you achieve, because you're never actually going to get there. And when I do meditations, a lot of times I will just do them in myself, right? And I was just happened to be listening to... Um, insight timer meditation. And she's like, you need to feel the feeling now. And usually when someone says it to me, like I can close my eyes and I can visualize myself in that moment. And I'm like, oh, okay. I can feel this feeling. And for the first time, and I know this is going to sound silly. I was like, oh, you mean like every day, all day, (laughs) feel the feeling now. And I was like, okay. And then I just had this download. And I was like, if you are manifesting something, if you're dreaming of something, if you're desiring something in your life and you want to know how far away you are from it, pause and take a look down at your outfit. Your outfit, and when we get dressed every day, is a direct manifestation of your thoughts in that moment. 
And I had this epiphany. I was like, oh, you know how they say, like, everything that's happening in your life is a direct reflection of your thinking up until this point, right? Like, what got you here won't get you there. Everything you've done to get here is just everything you've done to get here. And I was like, oh my God, but that's hard to imagine, especially when we're going through something hard. You're like, well, how did I manifest this shitty thing into my life? So I was like, let's peel it back and let's put it back on our bodies and let's look at our clothes because that's an easy one. And we had full fucking control over it. So when I say pause and look at your outfit, when you walked into your closet this morning or chose not to walk into your closet, closet this morning, you manifested your mood onto your outfit. What were your thoughts when you were putting on the clothes that you have right now? If you're still sitting around in sweatpants and you haven't showered and you haven't done your hair, your thoughts were, I'm too busy, I don't have enough time, I'm overwhelmed, I'm tired, I didn't get enough sleep, whatever those thoughts were. Or they were, I'm not really working today, this is my comfy day, this is my casual day, I'm doing X, Y, and Z, right? If you're working and you have those clothes on, then I know that you chose to say, it's not really important, so I'm just going to wear these clothes, right? I'm just going for comfy vibes today because you had this really deep desire to feel comfortable for one reason or another, right? You could not feel comfortable mentally, so you want to feel comfortable physically. Or you walked in and you're like, I'm going to fucking kill it today. I'm going to wear this really cute new bright pink and red shirt that I have. I'm going to go on video for the first time. Oh my God, what am I going to wear? I'm scared. I'm nervous. What am I going to wear? I need to wear something that's going to make me feel powerful, right? That's what I did this morning. Or you could have had, you know, take whatever version of this. But whatever you were thinking this morning, whatever thought was going through your mind is a direct manifestation of the clothes that you are wearing. So if you are trying to manifest new things in your life or if you feel stuck in your business and you're like, God, why am I so stuck? Why isn't this working? Why is everything I do not working? Why is every time I try this, no one's doing it or no one's reacting or I'm not getting the response I want or whatever the thing is. It could be with your kids. It could be with your spouse, partner, family members, whatever. But I really like to think about this in a way of like amplifying our confidence, amplifying our brand and amplifying our businesses, right? So that is just a setup for what I really want to talk about today is the key fall colors and how we can use those colors to manifest because nothing sets me on fire more than color psychology. There's fashion psychology, which color psychology falls under that is it's not about you looking a certain way. It's not about the status symbol that style has been for so many years. It's not that. It's what were you thinking? When when we walk in public and we dress a certain way, we give off a different vibe, give off a vibe. And it just depends on what it is. And it's a direct reflection of what we were thinking when we put on those clothes, right? If we're running around messy, Nothing's wrong with that, but no one around you is going to be attracted to that because we're all fighting our own version of messy, right? We're all fighting our own version of distracted, overwhelmed, stressed out, anxious, or whatever that is, especially in the attention economy that we live in, right? But if you slowed it down, got dressed, put on something that was really meaningful to you, people are going to see that. They're going to be attracted to that. They're going to be like, I want that. What is she doing that I'm not doing? (laughs) Like, I want that energy, right? So let's talk about colors because that all falls under that for me. Like the fashion psychology around everything I just said is like, you know, a messy space usually means a messy mind or the lack of prioritizing being in spaces that make us feel decluttered, right? There's been studies on this around if our homes are cluttered, if our spaces are cluttered, that we feel cluttered or that we feel overwhelmed. So colors do exactly the same way. And I love to compare style and interior design and one of the reasons i like to do it is because sometimes it's a lot easier to take it off of our bodies and it's a lot easier to stop blaming ourselves because i know i'm saying these things and they can feel really pointed but it's not to make you feel bad it's to show you that you have control of this right so have some compassion with yourself and when we go through these colors this is where the shit gets really fun is you get to pick what do you want today Okay, so let's talk about fall, uh, key fall colors for this season. So juicy. I love color psychology so much. And um, let's just dive right in. I focused on seven big ones. We did these in the squad a couple of weeks ago. And this is what we were focusing on in our trends book and all of that. So I hope that you guys are here for it and into it. It was a really fun conversation. And I think 
you guys will get just as much out of it. So I'm really, really excited. So let's dive in. Okay. I want to say, first of all, and I told the staff squad the same thing. This fall is not really that exciting for me. This fall is all around creating rich energy. And I think that really comes from the R word being thrown around so much ever since COVID has started to stabilize, for lack of a better word, and things are starting to feel normal again. There's been nothing but talk of going into recession, right? And lots of awful, terrible things are happening in our world every day. So fashion has reacted to that. And everything you're seeing this season is around creating a sense of security, a sense of luxurious with our clothes and with basics and staples, just having unique twists on them and not flashing lots of bright colors and lots of like over the top things. It's really around creating a lot of grounded energy. It's really around getting back to basics, but investing in our basics. It's essentially less is more and quality over quantity. And that absolutely comes through in the colors as well. But I would have to say that colors are probably the most exciting part of this. Except for you're not going to see as much of the big, bold, bright colors as that we've seen last fall when it was all focused on dopamine dressing. There's definitely a shift away from that. So we will get into that right now. So there's seven colors that I want to introduce you to for this fall that are the season's hottest colors. And let's talk about when we wear them, what energy we're going to be putting off and what we can manifest in our lives with these colors just to keep it fun. So every year there's a, this is the new black, right? So chocolate brown is the new black for this season. Brown. Oh my God. It feels like such an awful color. Well, one thing, brown is a neutral color that pops up a lot for everybody. So your hair, lips, eyes, and skin color are your neutral, your inherent neutral colors for you. So if your hair, skin, lips, or eyes are are brown, then guess what? Brown is one of your inherent colors. What happens when we wear inherent colors? We appear more approachable and more friendly. So use that to your advantage. But what I really wanted to say around chocolate brown, and the reason brown is so popular this season, is it's all about being grounded. It's all around earth energy, right? It's all around safety, security, and stability. So if you need some safety, security, and stability in your life, what chances are you might be craving that because there's some crazy things happening in our world right now, then chocolate brown is going to be one of your go-tos this season. Now, the amazing thing is that the chocolate brown looks amazing with all the other colors this season. So, I mean, I guess they kind of did that on purpose. So if you're not that excited about chocolate brown, you're like, oh my God, how am I going to do this? Just remember all the things I was telling you about it being in your inherent colors. So think about shoes, belts, purses, all your leather goods, and about how you can use it to feel safe, secure, and stable. So if you're looking for a way to switch up and you're wanting to let go of some of the black, then introduce some chocolate brown. If you're one of the people that's like, oh my God, but how can I wear black and brown? Am I allowed to wear black and brown? That rule is dead. You're allowed to wear whatever colors you want to wear. There's no fashion Illuminati. All right. Number two, the number, the second key fall trend color that you can use to manifest juicy vibes this season is icy blue. So if you are watching the video, I do have on my icy blue studs just for you. So icy blue and blue in general, but we're just gonna talk about icy blue for a minute. This is all about calming and cooling. Like when I think of icy blue, I literally think like Mentos. I think of like fresh breath, right? It's like a refreshing, right? So the chocolate brown is gonna ground us. The icy blue is gonna make us feel calm and relaxed and cool, like a breath of fresh air, right? So the icy blue, I think is gonna be really powerful if you have big talks or presentations or especially hard conversations. Maybe you have some hard conversations coming up in your business, maybe hard conversations with yourself, right? So put on your favorite aquamarine jewelry or icy blue and just go all in and know that you are channeling all the calm, cool vibes this season with your icy blue. Not to mention, in my opinion, the icy blue pairs really well with the chocolate brown. So you're in it to win it. Number three, the third hottest fall color trend this season, which is actually the hottest color trend of the season. And I put it number three just to put it in the mix of the top seven to keep it fresh and fiery is, you guessed it, red. Red is the it color this season. Red is the color 
if you're looking for that dopamine, if you're looking for that, like, oh, what's my big drama color this season? This is where you're going to get it. This is the power. This is the confidence. This is the abundance. This is the vitality color, right? The red has been popular for the last couple of seasons. It was real popular in spring, which is typically not a spring color. It's typically not a fall. When a lot of people think of red, we think of holidays or we think of, you know, summertime or really cocktail attire and really powerful colors like that. I think of like red dresses and red heels and things like that. But this season, it's all about that. It's all about the power and the vitality and the abundance. Um, I believe in Chinese New Year, it's luck, right? So it's all around bringing that that life force energy. Um, I'm really digging the word vitality right now. I don't know, maybe as, as I get into more and more into my 40s, and that feels really real to me, but this is going to be the biggest power color of the season. And it's not just your typical red. There's some tomato red, which is a little bit more of your warm orangey red. There is just a straight up true red, which has your cooler tones to it, but you're going to see it everywhere. And how people are really wearing it this season is pops of color. So you're really going to see the red come in as pops of color. So think flats, pumps, purses, accessory, um, jewelries, all, all of that, um, scarves. So lipstick, duh, right? So the red is all about that. It's all about that pop. It looks, one of my favorite color combinations is you guess it, a red and icy blue. As you can see the shirt I'm wearing in the video, it has pink and red and blue. It's just one of my favorite color combinations. It's really fresh. So I'm really liking the energy of that as we can be powerful and confident and then we can pair it with icy blue and still feel calm and cool at the same time. And that's where color and fashion psychology gets juicy. All right, number five, our fifth hottest uh, color trend of fall 2023 is Oh, wait for it. Digital lavender actually is number four because red was number three. I apologize. I'm getting excited and ahead of myself. So number four, digital lavender. Lavender was super popular last fall. Yes, I've seen it and shopping. I haven't seen it as much. So it probably depends on what retailers you are shopping. Um, but if you like more of like the romantic vibe and feel, this is going to be more one of those pastel colors. Now, I think, again, this color pairs really well with the chocolate brown and the icy blue. And we're going to talk about some more of the colors in a few minutes. But the digital lavender is all around serenity and peace and spirituality. Lavender is usually associated with our crown chakra, right? So like our connection to spirit, to your highest self, like whatever that is for you. Um, purple is typically a color of royalty, right? It has a lot of really fun juiciness. Now, lavender, not as much. When we think of lavender, we do. We think of calming and wellness. And lavender is super, super popular. It's probably one of the most popular um, scented oils around right now. So how I'm using this right now is to de-stress, right? So when I think of lavender and working that into outfits, it's all around the de-stressing. It's all around feeling light and easy and serene and calling in that energy. All right. Power color number five for the fall key colors. Sorry, I know I jumped ahead a second ago. I'm really excited about this transition because it's feeling really new and really fresh is powder pink or blush whatever way you want to refer to this as, but this is the modern update to the Barbie core. So Barbie core pink has been reigning supreme for years. I mean, can we just like pause for a moment of silence for their marketing? Um, because it was out of this world and it was amazing, right? Whether you wanted to watch Barbie or not, you knew that Barbie was coming and the world has been painted pink. Specifically, Barbie core pink which was not your traditional little girl baby pink. It is the super bright, basically like the lips on my wall, powerful, deep, bright pink, right? But now that pink has started to shift into a power pink, powder pink, a blush. Uh, pink is very playful. It's very youthful. We do typically associate it and with kids, right? So in a very traditional heteronorm world, it's blue for girls and I mean, blue for girls, <laughs> blue for boys and pink for girls. And we really associate both of those colors. So I guess you could say the icy blue can fall here too. 
as playful and youthful, right? So pink especially has the playful, youthful fe feeling of a less passionate red. Because at the end of the day, my husband's going to love this. I mean, pink really is just a toned down version of red, right? But this version of this power, um, I keep saying power, <laughs> powder pink is to add a little bit more structure to the bright pink. So this is perfect for your monochromatic looks. So if you have a lot of the um, Barbie core pink, pair it with the blush. When you pair both of these colors together, it's like you're adding a little bit of structure to the playfulness. It's almost like the perfect balance of the masculine and fe feminine energy coming together. And it makes an amazing monochromatic look. So monochromatic is just one color from head to toe. But where people mess up a lot of times is they think it has to be all of the same color, right? Because when we try to match our blacks or our whites, we try to match them perfectly. But when it comes to other colors, it's not really about matching the colors perfectly so much as the tone, right? So like if it's a cool tone or a warm tone. So when you match those, it gives a really cool vibe from head to toe. And hot style tip, when you do monochromatic, if you're looking for taller, more powerful colors than those monochromatic looks, do that for you. All right, number six. This is a juicy one. It's another one that was popular last year. And if you notice the trend here is that the thing with fashion, and people say this to me all the time, I don't want to keep up with trends. I know because it's exhausting, right? To constantly change. But the thing is, is that a lot of times they don't change that quick. A lot, a lot of these colors have been trending for the last couple of years. Chocolate brown, red, digital lavender, cobalt blue, which is number six. Those colors have been trending for the last couple of years, right? Before I started this business in 2020 and 2019, when we were working on color forecasting, these are the colors that have been coming up, right? Because trends actually last for a really long time. The wellness trend that we've been in as a society has been happening now. I don't know for about like the last 10 years, right? And I don't think it's going to slow down. It's just going to continue to evolve and it's going to continue to evolve into what we need as a society. So it doesn't mean like every season we need to go and start buying all new clothes. Now, every now and then you will see the subtle transition from like the Barbie core pink to the blush that we're seeing this season. But what's really fun is again, that those colors complement each other and they work really well together, right? So it's not about like, oh my God, I got to go throw out all my clothes and buy new clothes every season. It's just like, how are they evolving? Because you're evolving. The world is evolving. I mean, all we're doing is expanding every day, every single day. So galactic cobalt. Now that is the one thing is that every year the names will get like a little fresher because like when lavender first came out, it wasn't called digital lavender. It's digital now because we need the lavender to tone down some of the digital distractions that are happening in our life. And then the galactic cobalt, right? One of the trends last year was this like alien superstar that Beyonce totally embodied this summer with her Renaissance tour and all of like this tech meets alien silver and high vibe energy that's coming through, right? So it makes sense that the galactic cobalt blue has kind of adopted some of that power energy of being quote unquote otherworldly or, you know, living this grand life that's reclaiming our power. And like I said, I started this whole thing with we get to manifest the life that we desire by what we wear. So the galactic cobalt blue is really a fresh take on black, right? So black is always associated with authority and leadership. And navy falls right behind that, but navy not being the color this season, it being cobalt blue, is it's a little bit more friendly, yet authoritative. So kind of going back when we talked about chocolate brown being an inherent color for you, perhaps, that if it is, this makes you more approachable and friendly. And this is why cobalt blue is amazing because it's doing the same thing that the brown does, except it's also giving you the air of authority because you know, blue is the color that we associate with water, air, the sky, clouds, like everything that we need to survive as humans. So there's a lot of freaking fun power there on how to use blue to exude that friendliness, to exude that you know, calming, cooling, you kind of life energy that you need me. And I'm the expert, baby. I know exactly what I'm talking about. So this one for me is really fun and really powerful when it comes to 
amplifying your brand, right? So like if that's something that you're leaning into and cobalt blue falls into, under your brand palette, please go buy it and wear it today. You need it. It needs you. All right, number seven. So we've had chocolate brown, icy blue, fiery red, digital lavender, powder pink, which I've been calling power pink the whole time, galactic cobalt, and last but not least, apricot crush. So this is just a really fun, vibrant apricot color, which is perfect for the fall season. It's going to go super well with all of your um, chocolate brown. Yes, there's some other colors that I'm not calling out on this because they didn't make my top seven. It pairs really well for an with another color that you'll probably see a ton this season, which is clay. But the apricot crush is one that I wanted to put in here because I felt like it perfectly rounded out the colors that we've talked about so far. Because the apricot crush is around the energetics that we get from the orange that it's mixed with and the warmth of yellow and the hope from yellow and because it's a treasury color, right? Meaning that you have the primary color of yellow mixed with orange, which is technically a secondary color because you've mixed red and yellow to get that color. Now you mix those two colors. I know too much about colors and you get the treasury color apricot, right? Because it's a mix of all these that you get the mixture of the orange and the yellow and the red. So it's a total mood booster. It's the energy, it's the warmth, it's the passion. This is such a fun color to pair with that grounded energy if we need stability, to pair with that blue energy if we need to be calmed and relaxing from the blue and the lavender. And it's what an amazing compliment to the red, but it actually warms and tones down the red and makes it just a little bit more friendly than the superpower that red can always exude. So all of these colors, not to mention, I think the apricot and the cobalt blue, really fun, fresh color combination that I haven't seen a lot of people do, kind of like the icy blue and the red. So go have fun with that one. And if this color falls in your palette and you're really attracted to warm tone colors or you live somewhere that mimics this, like shout out to all of my Arizona peeps, this color is going to be amazing for you. All right, peeps, those are the seven key fall colors and trends that you need to know this season to manifest anything that you desire in life. Call in anything that you need. And like I said, how we started this whole podcast today. Pause, take a look at your outfit, and you will know exactly what you were thinking this morning and how you were feeling and what your outlook on life was this morning when you were getting dressed. Good, bad, and different. It's just a reflection of where you are. It's just a reflection of what you need. It's not wrong. It's not right. You get to let yourself be right, but you get to decide whether this feels great for you or is it time to up your game is the time to amplify this for you, right? Anyways, I hope that this made, um, that this was fun for you and that this like really made an impact on how you can think about getting dressed every morning. And thanks for joining me on not just the podcast, but my very first video podcast that will be putting up on YouTube. Hopefully it's going to drop <laughs> when the podcast episode drops. Just got to make sure that everything's working okay. And um, if you guys want style support with your closet or with colors, any of that, reach out. Um, Katie at Katie Just Styled. Everything's going to be in the show notes on the offers, how we can work together, all of that juice. And like I said, if you're so interested in video after listening to this, go back and listen to last week's episode with Nina Fareep. She's one of my one-on-one -on -one clients. She's a video extraordinaire. I used her video tips from that interview to set up this whole video experience. I've been dreaming of recording the podcast and doing videos. I'm just so ready to up my game in the podcast. I'm so much ready to offer more value and to get in deeper with you. And I used everything that she talked about in last week's episode to do this very first video. Fingers crossed that everything's recording exactly perfectly and it will be on YouTube at the same time that the um, podcast drops. So go check it out. And thank you so much for being here. I will see you on the other side.